Hey everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and we're doing another blessings box. You guys, this is just so fun. I, I think I just like looking through the paper. Do you guys just come to look through the paper? I come to look through the paper. So, um, same song, new dance, or new, same dance, new song. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so this week's Blessings Box is donated by Miss Nancy R. Nancy has donated before and she is always so giving and so kind as are everyone who sends blessing boxes. You guys know I will go through the um, blessing box at the end. I will show you what you can have a chance to win this week. We will announce the winner for last week. And yeah, now you're gonna hear me say this kit, that kit, um, this, that, and the other. If you've watched, you know. Um, because all year long, I take all these different blessing boxes and I make different kits with them. And speaking of kits, starting on the first of this month, we have a mega, I think it's, it's three large collections. There's over 35 pieces of paper, right? And there's goodies, dies, and other goodies with them. I am giving away over on the Facebook group. So if you haven't joined Ginger's Corner Facebook group, it costs nothing. Just go over there, answer the three questions so that we know you understand the concept of the group of giving and receiving with a loving heart, that there's no wrong way. Because um, if you don't answer all three, you're not gonna be approved. We, we really wanna make that clear because we really don't have a lot of rules on the group, but I do expect kindness and um, grace. And you know what, never had a problem. Never had a problem. Um, had a few issues, but never ever a problem that we couldn't solve in a loving way. So I love all of my friends over there. Come join us, be part of the giveaways, be inspired. We got lots of fun going on over there. All right, so let's just get into it. Nancy sent me this beautiful card. I want to thank you so much, Nancy. She said that there's some pink fresh in here she thinks I might like, along with some gnomes. So y'all know me, I love gnomes. So let's just get right into it. Nancy, again, I can't thank you enough. That goes for all of the people who have contributed to this wonderful thing that I get to be a part of now. All right, so she gave us a couple of border strips. There was a baggie with just a bunch of little goodies in it. So we are going to um, just look through them. Some ribbon that says believe. Oh, this is so pretty. It's, it's like a canvas. It's really, really pretty. Super pretty. I do, I am working on a faith for my forever faith. I'm working on a giveaway kit for that. So this will definitely go in there. Okay. And then we have some pretty tags, some puffy pretzels. How cute are those? Some more tags kind of looks outdoorsy to me. Then looks like some hymnals. Oh, I love this. These are amazing. So pretty. I might keep a couple and then put the rest in the Forever Faith kit that I'm doing. Um, lots more puffies. Really cute. Doggy, sunshine, ladybugs. Oh, that would almost go in the summer kit, wouldn't it? Some popsicles. I might I might sneak them in there because you have till the 16th to do that anyway. So I am. I will put these in the summer kit. So we'll just add that to it. Um, and then we have Celebrate, some jelly bean soup, um, little titles as well as looks like some bits and pieces um, in a brown. There looks like a bunch of just little ephemera bits, okay? Then there's some beautiful wind veneer. I am working on an outdoors kit that I'm hoping to give away at the end of August um, before camping season is over. So I will definitely be adding these. There's a little globe, um, explore, looks like north, south, adventure. So those are really, really fun. Thank you so much, Nancy. And then we have some cut apart, it looks like, and some pink paisley. Oh, okay. It's a stencil. It has popsicles, cactus, rainbows. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see how much summer thing. Maybe I'll do a summer kit because I can't keep adding to that, right? But I can. <laughs> There's no rule. We'll see. If we have enough, I will um, create maybe just another summer kit. If not, then I'll just add these to the other one. Okay, so that we're giving away over there. Some fun little bits, looks like a hedgehog, just some ephemera, some macaroons, looks like there's a raccoon in there, 
Um, I saw a donut just now. Hey, it's like a surprise every time you shake it. <laughs> oh, so it looks like some Vicky Booten paper. Um, looks like some six by eight papers. Pretty, pretty. Oh, these are all summery too, aren't they? This one, now I will put this one in the camping one. This kind of, you know, that's a thing now. People are traveling, these young people. I love that. I watch that, um, what is the, that I watch? Tiny homes. People live in there now, which I don't blame them. If I wouldn't have had kids, I might have done that too. Definitely nice to be, you know, home free, no mortgage. I don't know. I lived in my RV and I didn't mind it one bit. And then these look like some Vicky Booten papers here. In fact, I know these are probably Vicky Booten. Okay, so there's some six by eights. I'll divide those up accordingly. Then she did, look at this, there's base pages, y'all. She has little baggies. So let's just start with baggy on the bottom and just go through it, shall we? Let me pull this out. Okay, so well, here we go. We got paper number one. Ooh, those are pretty, pretty papers. Argyle. <laughs> yeah, I know, everybody told me. Argyle, like Argyle socks, right? And then on the back is like a little tiny um, leaf print. Okay, and then we have a beautiful floral. And another one. Let's take a look at those. Oh, here's this paper again. We keep getting this paper. I actually have enough of these that I've almost made a whole kit out of them. <laughs> Pretty striped. Very summery, isn't that? I've got this beautiful paper. I've made a couple of kits. We've gotten this paper and this paper a couple times. And I'm telling you, I've put some really pretty kits together with them. We've given some away and some we have not. Pretty yellow floral. I need yellow. I have to not have a lot of yellow. Here's a pretty cartabella. I have had this line. I love this line. Botanical garden. It is a pretty line. And we got some green. Hey, we got some candy dishes. Those are cute. You could almost fussy cut those. Those are so cute. And candy on the back. That's the thing now, right? To make like a um, candy bar instead of having a cake. Okay, another stripe. Whoops, I got two papers there. Hang on. Yep, there's that one. Here's polka dot. And we just saw this paper I added to the summer kit. So we've got three more of those. I might add another one just because there's five of them here, so I could add another. A pretty, this would go in that teen kit really well, but you know, we'll save it. Maybe we'll make another one. Several of those. Then let's see here. I feel like I need to turn it. We've got I Love Spring by Echo Park. Then we have In Vogue by Cartabella Paris Line. Now I do have a little kit that I am putting together um, for one of our members because I know she likes to travel to Paris and I almost have enough to send her. So I'll probably add that to that. This could be teeny bopper all day long. We could do another girl kit, right? And a cool green that looks like a good boy paper to me. Then this will definitely go in the camping outdoor kit that I'm making. And this is Summer Adventure by Echo Park. And, oh, that's kind of cool. You could cut that out and use that as an embellishment. And the, um, isn't that called birchwood trees, I think? Those are pretty cool. Okay. Then we have some more outdoorsy vibe stuff. Oh, and the back is a mixed media. Okay. Then we have, and she, maybe she used that. Maybe she did. Did you do mixed media on there, Nancy? That's pretty cool. Maybe not. Maybe it's printed. I can't tell. Okay, so then some more outdoorsy vibe papers. I love it. Some cut aparts. Okay, and these are Take a Hike by Reminisce. Cool. Oh, this is a cool one. I like that one. I've never seen that line before. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. Story based paper. That's all day long. That's what I think of. I think of Janet right away and doing a story based layout. We've got some footprints. Okay, and I have this line here. It's a Cartabella Outdoor, The Great Outdoors. Love this paper. This is one I used. I didn't use this side. I did use this side on mine. 
Then here's another of the Botanical Garden from Tartabella. Okay, some cut aparts. And see, I can put those papers together and then add papers to it and make a really pretty kit. And we've got another one of these. So that is baggie one. And there's that one. And we'll go through the next bag. Let me get it out and get it together. All right, so we got the next bag from Miss Nancy and a beautiful, um, like a, almost a Paris vibe. That's what I'm getting, but also vintage-y, 100%. Again, I see vintage. Got a couple of those. Pretty gray paper. Love that, I think. Hmm, I have to think about that. I could probably put this in my silver and blue kit that I am making for um, my crafty friend um, that requested over on Ginger's Corner. And then we have a pretty black paper. I mean, these we can use in any kit, any time. Several different ones. Oh, this one has a B side. That gives me like a race car vibe. <laughs> That's what I see there. I actually do have a car kit going on. Okay. Well, that, some more florals, just classic, right? Great for weddings, great for proms, all that good stuff. Fun, fun papers. Oh, a pretty blue. Doesn't that make you think of babies? That makes me think of babies. I told my husband the other day that I might want a baby. He said, he asked me if I was feeling okay. <laughs> yeah, I just miss having babies around. Yeah, and then, you know, it doesn't take long and I change my mind. These are all very pretty geographic. I've never seen those, those are pretty. Okay, and then we've got some more black and white. We have some blue and white polka dots. Um, pretty blue, this is more like a teal blue. Pretty with the circles, then we've got a stripe. Pretty, pretty. Let's see here, shine, let the journey begin, the best day. I see graduation maybe. Say cheese, that will go with any kid. I don't care who you are. So will those cameras, right? I think so. And then this one kind of reminds me of the close to my heart, um, live life and bloom or in full bloom or whatever. That's really pretty. And then there's the B side of that. I definitely would use the butterflies before the B side. Then we've got a graph paper, pretty blues. I see Vicki Booten. This is a fun one. I see this in a boy page. This one I don't think I could use. I mean, I could fussy cut maybe the butterflies, but I don't think I could use it as a whole. This one, yeah. It could go in a boy kit, a car kit. That's how I see that one. And then, yep, definitely Vicky Booten. Definitely, definitely with those peacock feathers, right? Yeah, let's just turn this around. So, I'll be making another Vicky Booten one. <laughs> Here we go, and some pretty paint, and now this is pretty. You could use that in a lot of different ways. Pretty, pretty. This one, you know, if you look through sketches, you'll find a way to use this, honestly. When I have papers like this that have the circles and that, I look through sketches. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I do. More Vicky Booten, some green vibes. Gotta get that peacock green in there, right? Okay, so let's go through the next one. All beautiful papers, very, very nice. So kind. Okay, so here it looks like we have some base pages with some extras. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, my goal is to make base pages with some of these papers and to do this kind of thing. So. Um, you know what? Robin has, or Nancy has, um, Robin. <laughs> Nancy's going to laugh. Nancy um, has inspired me. I need to get that done. And I love how she has done the circle elements in this. This is fun. I mean, all you have to do is pull it out and make the page. So thank you so much, Nancy. Looks like maybe this is another one. Oh, this one has ribbon on it. That's really pretty. So I will put that with the base pages. We just need to have a base page giveaway, right? Okay, so let me flip over these papers. We've got some pretty pinks. Definitely girl kit. Oh, this is pretty. You know, I have a crafting kit that includes sewing. That's what this reminds me of. Maybe because I was a quilter, so then I see the stitching marks and it reminds me of quilting. Then a pretty red paper, okay. Ooh, this one has some like, texture to it for sure. 
a pretty green paper. This is Photo Play, One More Chapter. Oh, that's cool. It's that um, reading kit. Yeah. It's, it's the line that talk. it's like books and school. <laughs> I can't think, I know what I mean. I love this, isn't that clock cool? You could fussy cut those. Okay, so we have a couple of from that line, then a pretty polka dot. And here we go, looky, there's a lot of this outdoor line. Maybe I can pull enough together that I can make a kit with it. So let me have this paper. I have this personally, I've used this several times. Being from Montana, it's flashlights. Being from Montana, um, I had lots of outdoor photos, lots and lots. So the great outdoors, love this one. I did a whole um, about Yellowstone Park and I wrote all the stuff out about it and then I put photos over here of the entrance. Then we have some little critters, little critters. And then these are the stickers from that line because I have them so I know. And here we go again. And some pretty red paper. Ooh, that's cool too. Could almost like spell baby out. Well, no, we only got one B. I guess that doesn't work, but that's pretty cool. And we have, this is a textured paper, right? This is from Fiskars. Huh, who knew that? Heidi Grace, hmm. shimmer glitter paper. It's pretty. Don't mind me, I'm just admiring the paper. <laughs> this is a Halloween, so I will put that in the Halloween kit. Oh, and speaking of, looky there. So we've got some Halloween prints. There's the B side. I actually think, I think this came out of a paper pad. I think I have the same one. I gotta get a drink, I'm sorry you guys. A and B of a pretty red, orangey red. Okay, and then we have a green polka dot and then some lines. Let's see what we got here. Oh, some more green. I think I need to flip this over. Let's just go like this. Okay, some more than this. Oh, wouldn't it be fun to do like a, like one of the armed services? Hmm, oh, my mind is going. Maybe could, I could start it with these papers right here. Looky there. Do you have like World War II heritage photos? Yeah. We've had this paper before. This one too. Make some beautiful kits with it. And this one as well. Um, pretty teal. All these could go in heritage. They could go in boy. I will find a place for them. Brown papers. There we go. Some stamps. Mm, isn't that cool? Oh, that would be hard not to fussy cut it out, right? Because you could use the fish ones on a layout. You could use these on a, like armed forces. Like, that's a really cool one. These you could use at Christmas time about Christmas cards. Okay, are these all upside down? Then we have that paper there. And we've had this one before. Pretty purple and blue and pinks. All pretty papers. Some one that goes that way. More florals, some green, and some pink. Just going fast. We still have another whole one to go through. And I see just girl, all day long, girl or spring. Okay, and then some peach and teal. Always look good together. Pink, brown, another pink. You have a couple of those. And then a geometric polka dot. Another, like, it's almost like a fern. It's pretty. And we've got, like, um, abstract uh, plaid. Pretty green paper with some gold centers. Another pretty green. Isn't that pretty? Memory start at the heart. You, I mean, you could use that just as your title. Oh, and then some postcards. That would go in that, like, um, Armed Forces one, even. Give it a feminine touch. Some gummy bears. Oh my gosh, how fun is that one? A pretty stripe. A couple of those. A red polka dot. Gives me a Christmas vibe. Ooh, that's a pretty paper. Yeah, total Christmas vibe. Pretty though. Different colors. You know, I have said for a long time that brown and red together are my favorite color combos, but I... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, our tastes change. I am loving teal and red together. Like it is just, I don't know, it's speaking to me. Then we have a pretty orange. I always need orange. Always looking for orange. Oh, and there's another one of those stamp papers. Okay, let me get out the last baggie and let's see what we can come up with here. All right, we're down to the last bag. Let's see here what we can come up with. Love this paper. I love this paper. So pretty. Pretty. I use a lot of green too. Does anybody else notice that? You use a lot of green. Yeah, it's in flowers, it's in trees, it's in the forest, all those things. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty floral print. Okay. I think I need to flip these as well. Okay, we've got a blue and another one of those papers for sure. And we've got kind of a mixed media abstract paint. That's cool. Really cool paper. Mm, that one must go with it because it's very matchy. Right. I could see that as a kit starter. Put some solids in there. That might work. We've got a green polka dot with some hearts. hearts. We've had this paper before too. Fun. I like this one. This is, yep, I have this Kate Nash simple stories okay and some blue polka dot some yellow and boy that's like almost looks like little beehives <laughs> in there some pretty bows oh this is a fun one. Oh, it goes this way that's a fun pretty little studio okay vitamin c very summery i could add that peach keen right Sweet peach king. Then we've got some more summer adventure. Pretty green. Okay, whoops, I think I've got two there. We've had this paper as well. Probably use it for the yellow. I'm always needing yellow. And we got some cut aparts and a pretty blue. And we've got some family. Let's see here. You know, I have pictures of us going into the Bucky's um, bathroom. <laughs> would work right if you know you just know okay so black and white some pretzels some this is pebbles girl squad photo play please stay oh trampolines those are cute please stay safe i've never seen this like in person i've seen it online but i haven't bought it so i'm just looking to with you guys green and a red wood grain Jelly bean soups. And we've got some forest and some mugs. Oh, this was one of my favorite lines. I bought like four of these kits until finally I just got tired of using it. This is a really, home again is very, very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, and then we've got some pink. And there's the B side. Got a few of those. We've got some pink fresh. I might keep the pink fresh. I'm not gonna lie, because you guys know I don't have much and I do Pink Fresh Friday, so there's a good chance I will keep those. Oh, I'm keeping that one. Ah, just cause I don't have very much, so anything helps for sure. That's pretty. We have to see what I mean? Like, I'm almost to the point, I could have a whole kit of this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I have to keep this paper. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, this one I'm keeping for real. Like, I'm not just saying it. I am keeping that paper. I need to look up that line. Journey. Great paper. Okay. And then orange and some gnomes. I love gnomes. I actually have this line. I have the mini 6x6 six six too. So I'll, I'll make a kit out of it and give it to someone else. But it is a lot of fun for sure. All right, you guys. That's all of it. Let me pull something together and we'll have a nice giveaway. Um, thank you again so much, Nancy. You're so, so sweet. So sweet. We're going to have so many blessings and blessed giveaways because of your generosity. All right. I'll pull something together. Next, you guys are going to see the winner for the last week. And then we'll go over what we're going to do this week. Okay. Hang in there. All right, I want to congratulate Michelle Parker. Um, she is the winner of last week's teenage kit. I'm on vacation, um, but as you can see, I did it the same way as I always did it, and I'm just editing in here. Michelle, just send me a shout out. We'll get it mailed to you. I hope you enjoy. All right, you guys. So yours truly ran out of time. <laughs> 
because I'm getting ready to go on vacation. So I pulled out a kit that I've been pulling together because I keep getting papers for it. And we will go, I'll make kits out of um, Nancy's um, gift box later and we'll give those away at another time. So what we are doing is another girl kit. It is, um, there's some rub-ons. I am gonna include these from uh, Nancy's Blessings box as well. And then I'm just gonna go through the papers in this kit. Okay, there's several because every time I found a paper for this, I put it in here. So you're going to get two of these papers, then two of this pretty stripe. Then there are polka dots. Okay, well, it's trying to get away from me. Some floral, there's two of those. We've got some more polka dots. I think there's three of these. I think I found some in another blessings box and added it to it. Yeah. And we have a solid. It's basically these pretty pinks, purples, a little splash of green in here um, thrown in. We've got a white. We've got some stripe. Several stripe, because I know I found this stripe several times. That's a different one. Like when I say several, I think there's like five. And then another solid. And then another green and another green. So you're gonna get all of those papers. So all together it's one, two, three, four, five, 32. Okay, so all together there are 32, give or take if I missed one, um, papers. And then you're gonna get the, there's a scrap that went to this, some rub-ons, and these two. So, um, to comment below, you know what? I believe this is week 18, so use the number 18. Let's just have fun with that. All right, so you can comment on the Facebook group as well as um, on the YouTube, so you get two chances to win. Um, make sure you're answering those questions. Come and join us for the summer giveaway um, big mega kit. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.